There's a jungle out. There's a there's a there's a jungle out. Crying out. There's a there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come win playing. It's the last thing on our mind. So cry much if you really, really wanna stop crying. Be safe in your home. Be safe in the streets. It's a cold place and I'm really feeling the heat. I never wear gold cause summer's always peeping by the fence. Still cry much came and give TNT confidence. I had a dream in the dark. I had a dream in the spring. I had a dream. I had a dream like my Luther King. Take me friendly on the phone so you can call us. We ain't gonna call you back. Say they don't know if you call us. Say what you gonna do now. We all come with you now. There's a jungle. Out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. I'm coming to you now. There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We're gonna hunt you down We're gonna hunt you down But they don't know if you call us Say what you gonna do now We all come with you now There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We're gonna hunt you down We're gonna hunt you down There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. Look back, say they don't know if you call us. Say what you gonna do now? We all come with you now. There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. Gonna do now. We all come with you now. There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come. We ain't playing. It's the last thing on our mind. So cry much. Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ian Allen. This is Crime Watch, and we are back. I just came back from Arima. Yeah, now today I had like a hectic, hectic, hectic day. I haven't had no lunch. I didn't have no breakfast. I was just on the go. And I tell you, on the go, on the go. Ladies and gentlemen, well, the murder toll is now 141. 141 people. Yeah, murdered for 2018. Just imagine that. All those who are. But do you know? Do you know? It just goes to show whatever government systems whatever systems they have in place. You know, the same time, yes, uh, last year, 2017, this exact date was 141. So tell me if it's really working. You tell me. Last year, the exact day, uh, Wednesday, the, Wednesday, the 4th of April. Last year, Wednesday, the, um, well, last year, the 4th of April, 141. So if, the, the bigger question is, whatever systems they have in place, whatever billions of dollars that, that, they, that they are spending, it's a clear indication, ladies and gentlemen, that it's not working. It is not working. Yeah. I tell you this. I was, whoo, I saw it is, a, now, we don't know the circumstances, but all we know, a gentleman took police to an area in Maturita Extension, where it is alleged he shrank the little girl. Where it is alleged. It is alleged. He's in police custody right now. We're going to get all that. And, you know, there's something I want to bring back. And I'm telling my researchers one time, you can remember, I think Russell had taken me there, or oh, sucks, was it you? Where the, 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 the mentally challenged boy was gone down by police and we had all the videos to show. You all have all those videos? Every single one I want when the guy walked to the bush. Daniel Paul. And then you go back to Digo Martin. Where another man... Paul March and Rich Plain. Mentally, mentally challenged young man, gone down by police. Nothing came out of that. Enough. Nothing came out of the one said Marlin. Today, ladies and gentlemen, you're hearing about uh, a, a, a young man who has a, a bipolar disorder, bipolar disorder, a cup with his mother, 
Was I asked the mother some question, did he ever break up the house in the past, blah, blah, blah. Now, the woman is a real, as they say, aristocrat people, you can realize, as they say, you know, willy, willy people with a fall running and back and thing in the yard. And, no, 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 no. Well spoken, mind you. Classy place. Because when we pull up in front of the house, I realize, well, woo, you don't know what's going on already. But you only, only to realize that the, 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 the guy with the, with, with, with the bipolar disorder, He's also a member of the um, the by the um, psych a psychologist. Apparently, he's, he has a degree in psychology. Very very bright fella. But let me tell you something. At no time, and I will tell you this, police might vex with me. At no time, the police life was ever threatened to shoot nobody, you know, because he was in his room. His body was found in his room, and his door was broken into. So they break down the door, shoot the boy. They didn't sh he was not attacking the corridor. People might ask, why? Why are you? Why are you? Why are you highlighting that? Well, my job, ladies and gentlemen, is to let everybody know what is going on. But before we go, they are taking it to Arima. Uh, yesterday, an Arima man was gone down at Savannah Road, Red Hill, Davidi, last night. In fact, last night. Residents report they heard loud explosion. Police responded and found the bullet riddled body of 25-year-old Salim Mohammed. Mohammed, who lived in, a, 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 in the area, was shot six times upper body. Six times. This is a picture of Mohammed. If you have any information, get in contact with me. I'm straight to Arima. Go ahead. He was known as a bread salesman in the area. Many people knew him. Now, sucks. If you could go back in my, in my video and bread vendor shot right in, in the car and he wronged the body. It's on my Facebook if we could get it. All right? Because I remember when I was, when Russell was with me, the vendor at Carney wronged the body was shot. Come on, Charlene, come on. There are three computers here. We don't have to go back to anybody. Hi, good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am showing you in Arima what is going on. There's so many computers in Master Control. You have to stop for you to get that. Hurry up. Come on, socks. You all locate it and put it up for me, please. My brain clicking because I could remember, ladies and gentlemen, another bread vendor was shot, but he, but he was able to uh, uh, fight off his attackers at Carney Round about a couple of years ago. But this guy here was shot dead six times. He was shot dead with six bullets. Uh, sorry. Bullet riddle body. Open up your lines. Hi, good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Also, ladies and gentlemen, today, 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 a Maru there was also a, a, a murder in Maruga. So you got to Arima. Now I'm heading straight to Maruga. Laloon Maruga. I dispatched one of my camera guys here. Tell the camera people really working. To the eight-year-old man, idea only as Gangzi was found lying motionless with a, a gunshot wounds about the body at his Laloon Maruga home last night. Residents closed by, closed by rush over when they heard man shouting for help. They brought him out of the road where he later died. Open up your lines to me. Hi, good evening. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm showing you the Maruga area. Come in me. Where, where's the area? Is this Know Your Country Tour something I sent you on? Oh my God. Oh, this is the area. I was, I was, I was kind of shocked, you know, I seen the sea, I seen all kinds of things, but I ain't seen the people's house. So I, wanted, I, I, I just wanted to ask me, me, my cameraman, if this was Know Your Country Tour or something. Hi, good evening, you're live on Crime Watch. We're going to run it for you, Minnie, you don't have to get depressed. Hi, good evening, you're live on Crime Watch. 6714062, hi, good evening, you're live on Crime Watch. Those are... All right, as you can see, the body on the ground there. The area, sorry, the area. All right, open up your line. This is the area where the man in Maruga was shot. As you can see, the blood and whatnot. Gangzi, Gangzi. Mar so this is murder in Maruga. Open up your line. Six, Laloon Road, Maruga, 6714062. That's 6714. Hi, good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Go ahead. Good evening, Mr. Allen. Yeah, go ahead. I'm, in, I'm having a problem with Wasa. What's going on with Wasa? 10 days now. Water is gushing in the road, and what's the say the conserve water? 
This is we where? We can't make numerous reports. This is where? I can't even get a drop of water in my house. I have a young yeah, baby. Yeah, but this is where, ma'am. This is where? Pardon me? This is where? Wharton Street. Success Village Laventil. We can't call yeah, but water. Yeah, we highlighted it. Charlene, you all get those things on the ticket tape for me, please. Pardon me? Thank you. Ma'am, we're going to put it on the ticket tape. Let the whole country see where water we said. Get it up on that ticket tape right now for me. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, come back to me, please. Just to let you know, so, a, a man gone down in Arima, he's been identified with 25-year-old 20, Salim Mohammed, and Maruga murder, 38-year-old man, only known as Ganzi. So, we're going to take a fast break when we come back. You're going to see all, and listen to me, the truth, and nothing but the truth, with respect to what went on in La Romaine, with the guy with the um, bipolar disorder, Colin Rupchan, Colin Rupchan, all right? And also, ladies and gentlemen, are taking us straight down Arima where the young girl was strangled by Pass Road, by her, but it is alleged. Close friend, close friend. I can't say X, I don't can't say Y, I can't say Z, but close friend. Let's take a break. to Armory Variety Store this Easter, get 25 to 50% off everything. Located at Corner Derrick Road and Chase Village, Chiguanas. Telephone 671-3001. Where can you find that perfect ambience, delicious food reasonably priced, friendly staff, great service and secured parking? Located at LP62 Rodney Road and Devil Road, Lunch Park, Chaguanas, The Rise Grill and Bar Restaurant. Come visit us today and see for yourself. Enjoy any one of our signature dishes or sizzling seafoods. We have from starters to desserts and we also cater daily lunch specials from $40 and up. Our bar is well stocked with premium drinks, wines, champagne, cognac, vodka and cocktails. Farbindia Expo is back at the White Tent opposite Medford Gas Station, Shugonas from March 16 to April 2nd. All new containers with the latest variety of furniture, handicrafts, garments, footwear, jewelry and many more from around the world. We are the biggest in the Caribbean, food court that no one can resist. Lots of giveaways, ample parking and comfortable ambience. There's something for everyone. Check us out at Farbindia Expo at the White Tent opposite Medford Gas Station, Shugonas from March 16 to April 2nd. Entry is absolutely free. Call Neil Cool Air Conditioning Services. We have units as low as $22.50 installed. We carry quality brands, extensive after-sales service, seven-year warranty guaranteed, inverters from as low as $4,500 installed, professional service from start to finish, and beatable prices with quality in every product. Call us today at 748-4122 or 332-8997. Neil Cool Air Conditioning Services. Quality brands, professional service. Come on into Army Hardware today for all your building supplies from start to finish. We have decking sheets, under ceiling, new wave galvanized 26 gauge painted, I-beam, C and C purlin, gypsum board, French style steel windows, red and concrete blocks, pickup at factory, T-cell cement, corrugated steel, garbage bins and much much more at competitive prices and that inclusive so check us out today. On Saturday, April 7th and Sunday, April 8th, Racetrack Wheels and Hot 93 brings you the Ultimate Auto Fest at Wallerfield Raceway. Saturday, April 7th, the Ultimate Drag Racing Show. Then, Sunday, April 8th, the Massive Car Show and Drift Show with Sound Off Competition. Ultimate Auto Fest. It promises to be a sold-out event, so you don't want to miss this one. Saturday, April 7th and Sunday, April 8th at Wallerfield Raceway. For more info, please call 304-0750. It's cutting after cutting this Easter. At Coarse Cutter Supermarket locations, Cora Junction, El Dorado, and George Street, Sandy Grandi, get Red Rose Salmon, buy one, get one free for $18. Rich Port Tuna for $17.95. Rainbow Mackerel for $8.95. Happy Macaroni and Spaghetti for $4.25. Three for $10 and many more specials. So hurry on down to Coarse Cutter Supermarket now and save.
provides you with healthy drinks served in specially designed pure paperboard cartons, which are sanitary, environmental friendly and biodegradable. Drink from our paperboard cartons rather than plastic and styrofoam containers for a healthier, longer lifestyle. Try our creamy, smooth, delicious, pasteurized, homogenized peanut punch and sour sup milk drinks. It's carefully crafted for your enjoyment. Not forgetting our fresh pasteurized cow's milk, orange, pineapple and moby drinks. For sales and services, contact us at 6403836 or 2987945 or email jefframsaran at hotmail.com or visit us at lot number 15 Labor Boulevard, Trin City Industrial Estate. Yes, my people, your health is your wealth. Now open Ripto and Barsmart Sports Station for all your sporting equipment, cricket bats, batting pads, helmets, gloves, balls, trophies, table tennis board, Ab King Pro, home gyms, all sporting exercise equipment. Yes, be active. Be healthy. We have it at Rupner and Biosmart Sports Station. Now open Omira Road Arima next to Extra Foods. Phone 646-7101. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Now, just to let you all know, the murder tool is now 149. One man gone down in Arima, identified as 25-year-old Salim Mohammed, another in Maruga, known as Ganzi. Ladies and gentlemen, also a 60-year-old, 60-year-old last night was shot, was shot. A 60-year-old woman was robbed of her handbag while she was entering her home at Bonaire, Aruka last night. She was ambushed by two men around 8.30 p.m. The men grabbed her handbag, but she resisted. The woman was shot in the leg, and the men made off with her bag. The woman was treated at the, at the Eric Williams Medical Complex. Go to it. Hmm. It's to be very fast now. Hi, good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Go ahead. 6714062. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just showing you the area in Bonaire Gardens where an elderly woman was robbed and shot. 60 year old woman was entering her home at Bonaire Aruka last night where she was ambushed by two men around 8 30, 8 30 p.m. The men grabbed her bag, but she resisted. The woman was shot. Come back to me. You know, I want to take you to, I want to take you to, um, you know, yesterday, eh? just before the crime was started, I made mention that drugs was found on the Cabo star. One individual called me and said that was not true. That was not true. Trying to embarrass me, eh? trying to embarrass me. Oh, Mr. Allen, just to inform me, just to correct you, that news was fake news. Apparently, you watching some station in town, <laughs> or you listen to some radio station, Ladies and gentlemen, Rodney Rupla, a 36-year-old, a sales clerk of Sandy River, Mason Hall, was arrested by officers on Scarborough CID, Scarborough Port, been Scarborough CID, at the Scarborough Port at about 8.30 on Monday after, disem after disembarking from the, um, the ferry, when during a routine inspection, officers found six kilograms of marijuana in his panel van. And boy, I tell you, here now, I, Ian Allen, I, Ian Allen, I tell you this today. Boy, let me tell you something. I get that story like hot bread yesterday. Hi, caller, good evening. You're live on crime. Hello? Jobs Ian was Allen? found. I don't I think we have a shot at the drugs. Hello? On the cabo, sir. Hi, good evening. You're live on crime watch. Ian Allen? Yeah. How come you're showing me the Sharon funeral boy and the show? We all you were suffering around. Hold on, come back to me. I don't know. If you just come back from Mars and reach Trinidad, the entire nation saw my live, live coverage of Sharon's funeral on Saturday. It's all on my fan page. It's all over. You understand? We can also show you maybe a 30 seconds, but everybody's seen it all over. So I don't know where you now came back or maybe you want a holiday or something. But welcome to Trinidad and Tobago, the land of murder and crime. So if you go straight to my fan page, you'll be able to see what exactly went on at Sharon's funeral. People all in jail see it and all do. The man on the quicker out still see it. Stevie Wonder called me from America and tell me he watching and all do. Oh my God, don't put no doctor. So ladies and gentlemen, just to let you know, just to let you know, 36 year old sales clerk. This is the gentleman here. Rodney Ruplal. Rodney Ruplal. You know, ladies and gentlemen, a 26 year old yesterday, a 26 year old, 
26 year old Christine Chun Singh, Chuni Singh, aka Kunchi, aka Kunchi, before I take that call, was strangled by an individual known to her. Kuchi, I say Kunchi, Kuchi, before we go further, I just want to send something to my, uh, my, my staff that I got. Um, in fact, I had conversation, she had conversation with the individual just moments before. Moments before, she had, con she, she, she had conversation. Moments before. I want, I want to send it to them now, but ladies and gentlemen, that is what I tell you now. She was going around with, it is alleged she was going around with the man since October. Since October, hold on, since October. She, she was a part-time student, part-time music student at UB. She also worked at Holmes Restaurant, Holmes Restaurant. So ladies and gentlemen, today, I, we, in fact, before we go further, we visited the scene of where the incident took place, and then I spoke to her daddy, and then I spoke to her relatives, and then I went into her room, and I saw that the girl came from, she, I mean, they, they live in a very humble home. They seem to have peace they seem to well everybody seemed to be living comfortable there and but we don't know exactly what went on so ladies and gentlemen i'm taking you there because all of you have been here everybody's been here uh, all over the new city 20 year old christine Ch chuni singh aka kuchi known as kuchi that's her home name everybody has a home name i have my home name too i can't tell them my home name hot man Benji, everybody know me. That's my home name. That's my home name. Anybody, anybody, Sharon Forrest, everybody, everybody know that. Sharon Mother, everybody know that. They don't call me Ian Allen. People, listen, when I walk the road, right, in Shogunas, when I'm in Shogunas, I really don't walk around too much, but when I'm, when I'm around and somebody say Benji, I was like, yeah, what's going on? Because I'm like, you know, me from small. Everybody have a home name. It's a, it's a country thing, you know, and I'm proud to be from Shogunas. Ladies and gentlemen, just to let you know, 20 year old, strangled. Go ahead. Gentlemen, this is Ian Allen in Maturita Extension. I'm just showing you the home where Christine Chunu sing a 20-year-old uh, was strangled. Uh, a 26-year-old man has surrendered to police. This is the house here. We're still trying to make, you know, just to get a shot from a wrong final, what went on. We have neighbors around. We don't want to really speak to not, you know, just to see what's going on, if anybody's here. I'm seeing a car, so we don't know. We don't know this. I've seen a caution tape here. Hello. The house was under construction. They were building their home or so. Hello. Which what has happened, boy? They were building up. Hello. And everything. So apparently, well, this is the house it opened here. They said it, it took place right here. All right, Christine Chunu Singh. Well, a house under progress building. Uh, but we just seen a caution tape here, so we don't know exactly where it happened, where she was found. But all we know is a 20-year-old. If our relatives are watching, you know, they can get in contact with us. So we're just calling her wrong, you know. OK? Um, it's, it's, uh, the, the house is under construction. They just have room, so I don't, I don't think that they, that they were staying here. I seen this car. This happened yesterday evening, eh? so we don't know if this is the, this is the the owner of the vehicle who is assistant police. The only the, well, the owner of this vehicle is assistant police. I'm seeing a caution tape. The house is wide open, eh? like you know, but because it's under construction, you know. I'm seeing children. You know, so come now, come back. I want them what's going on now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, apparently they started this house, but she, they, they live on the bypass. But apparently, police came here with the guy, and apparently she was found there. But the house, but nobody lives here. They have no bed. They have nothing here. So the house is 
currently under construction. That's why it's open. Anybody could go in and, but you know what, in a neighborhood like this. Now, ladies and gentlemen, now that house belongs, it, no, it is alleged, belongs to the suspect relative. That house is currently under construction, but that is where her body was found. Now, what we did, we went to the bypass Arima Road, and we met with the father and all the cousins, and we saw the, we saw the, um, we saw the, the, um, her room, and, the, and you know, they, they, they said that she was going on with this guy for almost, since, well, since October, November, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. Well, almost, let's say six to seven months, but the father looked like he didn't have a clue what was going on, and, you know, but it's very, very unfortunate. That's why I tell you, you know, know who you're bringing in your life. You're going to take a fast break, and you're going to hear all about how it ended up with she being dead, how they had planned to meet and whatnot. Chicle Show Limited, the Caribbean's largest manufacturers of plain and printed paper bags, leaders in plastic bags, vermicelli, split piece powder, and greaseproof paper, ideal for doubles, french fries, and sandwiches. Supplying stores nationwide. For quality products, trust Chicle Show Limited, 665-3336. Grow your own food with Van Eggman, the special magic soil from Holland for all plants. Super performance, guaranteed results. Van Eggman, available at all Priceman stores at a special price. Freeport Agri Center, opposite Freeport Police Station. Call 496-4603 or 790-9247. Van Eggman, available at all Pricemart at a special price. Grow your own food with Van Eggman, the special magic soil from Holland for all plants. Super performance, guaranteed results. Van Eggman, available at all Pricemart stores at a special price. Freeport Agri Center, opposite Freeport Police Station. Call 496-4603 or 790-9247. Van Eggman, available at all Pricemart at a special price. When next you're traveling abroad or visiting Trinidad, check out Piaco Airport Souvenirs, Indigenous Fantasy, for all your souvenirs from printed t-shirts, local dolls, ceramics, and lots more. For more information, call telephone 669-0592 or 669-0325. Your one-stop shop for all your souvenirs. Farbinger Expo is back at the White Tent opposite Medford Gas Station Shogunas from March 16 to April 2nd. All new containers with the latest variety of furniture, handicrafts, garments, footwear, jewelry and many more from around the world. We have the biggest in the Caribbean, food court that no one can resist, lots of giveaways, ample parking and comfortable ambience. There's something for everyone. Check us out at Farbinger Expo at the White Tent opposite Medford Gas Station Shogunas from March 16 to April 2nd. Entry is absolutely free. Tire Clinic. Get the best quality tires in the country at affordable prices at our branches in Coover, Shogunas and Pleasance Park. Tire Clinic. A tire for every need. PNV Marketing Company Limited is the premier provider of new and high quality roll-on roll-off vehicles. We carry a wide range of new and roll-on and roll-off hybrid and non-hybrid vehicles. We service all the vehicles we sell. Our staff is fully certified and we guarantee 100% customer satisfaction. We have hundreds of vehicles in stock and financing is available. Visit us today. Get great Easter specials and extra foods. Trappies Wines Assorted, $99. Suntan Cocos Coconut Milk Powder, three dollars eleven ninety five. dollars Salmon Per Pound, $24.95. Drum and Pollock Saltfish, $21.95. Bumblebee tuna chunks $9.95. Fine choice chicken thighs pack $10.95. Fine choice chicken breast pack $12.95. And snuggle hand towels two for $11.95. Extra foods. Endeavor Shiguanas, Grand Bazaar, Arima, and Shiguanas Main Road. Always something extra for you. Screwtech Limited, STL, as the name suggests, are wholesalers of screws, bolts, nuts, and other fastener products for all your industrial and commercial use. We are located at number 792 Papery Road, Lower Barkpo. We have also created our own branded STL products with over 10,000 individual items of varying grades and sizes, so you can ask for it by name at all leading hardwares across Trinidad and Tobago. You can contact us at 654-5205 or 290-7733. Screwtech Limited, the leading screw company in the Caribbean. Namalco Construction Services Limited is one of the largest constructions company in Trinidad and Tobago. We have been in operation since 1998, serving both the public and private sectors with the largest fleet of modern equipment to undertake projects of any capacity. Our services include civil engineering work, road paving and repairs, land development and infrastructure work, rental of heavy and small equipment, transportation services and lots more. Call 651-0074 or 651 
On Saturday, April 7th and Sunday, April 8th, Racetrack Wheels and Hot 93 brings you the Ultimate Auto Fest at Waller Field Raceway. Saturday, April 7th, the Ultimate Drag Racing Show. Then, Sunday, April 8th, the Massive Car Show and Drift Show with Sound Off Competition. Ultimate Auto Fest. It promises to be a sold-out event, so you don't want to miss this one. Saturday, April 7th and Sunday, April 8th at Waller Field Raceway. For more info, please call 304-0750. So ladies and gentlemen, those of you who have just joined us, remember, uh, I just took you to the home, the area where uh, Chuni Singh, Christine Chuni Singh was found. Now apparently she was strangled by a, a close friend, uh, an individual who's assisting police with their investigation. And apparently when, when it happened, that's why I tell you, you now, that's why I tell you, and I'll be honest with you. You see all this lovely, lovely thing, and I'm just looking at things, and you remember, I, and I, I always tell say uh, that, Anything too sweet, just bring ants. Anything too sweet. So it's like, <laughs> there's no way I could describe that. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm taking us straight to Christine Chunis Chunising, a.k.a. Kunchi. That is her home name. This is a 20-year-old UV student. Kuchi, sorry, I said Kunchi. Kuchi, the 20-year-old UV student. Apparently she started a course at UV and um, a music course. And very nice girl. She was strangled by... A close friend, a close relative, well, close friend. Let me take you straight to our family's house. Okay, go bite, man. Nah, 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 nah. We meet already. What's man? It's so good here. Like fried chicken or something. <laughs> That's your daughter that was. Yeah. Oh my god. And I'll come by you when, when my teeth are kind of here. The, the, the... Oh yeah, I know I met you. Right. When they take my accent and they. Well, what, what exactly happened with your daughter? Take a look on picture up here and kill she up, so. If a, a young fella, but. They lived together or something? Or boyfriend and girlfriend? Boyfriend, you know boyfriend and girlfriend. How long they were together? I know. So you have never seen him? I, never, see him see, I never see this man. So your daughter live here? Yeah. She live in this house, okay. This is how she live in? Yeah. So it's just like a, a two minutes from here. But as yeah. I saw a house was going up there. That was her house? No. Yeah, she lived here. Yeah. But she and he, how long she was in a relationship with this guy? Uh, I hear the say... Well, so no. They were in a relationship since October. Sometime in October. I, I, and where I the know. guy worked? I don't know, I'm sorry. So there's a, one of our rooms yeah. you see at your house yeah. is under construction? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hello. You want to have a wheelchair for this little child? Huh? Is, is she cerebral palsy? Huh? Yeah, but you, don't, you, you don't have a wheelchair for her? No. If anybody's watching right now, can we get a wheelchair for this little girl, please? Uh, she's cerebral palsy, right? Okay, a nice wheelchair. But she can sit up? Yeah. Yeah, if we can get a, a, nice, a, a, a nice wheelchair for her. All right? All right, we need a wheelchair for her. We need a wheelchair for her, please. Send me a wheelchair. Okay, so this is where she lives. Way back. So since October. But the guy ever come here? No, I've done them. Ah. No, well, no, all this is yours here? Yeah? Huh? This is your building? Yeah. Open up. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is her room. Okay. Okay. Hey, boy. But where she worked? She work at homes. Huh? She work at homes. At where? She go to school, she go in UV. She go, she's a UV student? Yeah. Okay, and, and where she worked? She work, she work part-time weekend, Saturday and Sunday. To go, she go to school in the week. But what, what, what place does she work? Do you know what place? Homes. Homes? Yeah, in Arima. Homes or Homes? Homes. H-O-M-E-S? Yeah. H-O-M-E-S, yeah. Homes, homes and restaurant. A oh, home that she works in a restaurant? Yeah. Okay, but anybody can tell me off the camera how the, the guy ever came here? Yes. He used to come here? Inside, outside. Okay, and where he worked? Yeah. And where she met him? So, the, so they were boyfriend and girlfriend for a long while? About six months. About six months? Okay, 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 okay. 
But she ever complained that he was violent or anything? She tell her uh, I would gone, I would gone. That he was violent? Mm -hmm. What kind of person is East Indian or Afro Trinidadian? Afro. Afro Trinidadian? You don't know where he works? No, because she, she never really talked to nobody about him because she's a person. She's private? She has any children? To go out and thing like beach and, and have fun and, and together and thing? Yeah. Is he on Facebook? Yeah. They, 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 they're both on Facebook? Yeah. She's both on Facebook with him? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. That is so sad. But what did he pick her up for? What did he pick her up for? Uh, she was arrest. Yeah, she has any children? Uh huh. Yeah. And where is he from? He's from Valencia. Well, what's his name? Jezreel. Jezreel. Oh, well, a gentleman by the name of Jezra Clark is in custody. And, um, I don't care, sister, but how, but how you all found out about it? Um, yes. Huh? The police, the police. So the police came here? I wasn't here when the, the police came here. I was on work and I got the call. But she but always complained that, that he had a little attitude. No, she never told us anything. One person she worked with told someone, uh, other, um, somebody in the family that she she mentioned to her that he 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 was abusive, but she never told us anything. Wow. She was she was very private, very very private. Very well, sad and about this, eh? Yeah. So you have a week going on. I think people coming over and then. Yeah, later tonight. Later tonight. And see, is, is your father? Mhm. Mm he has a space under construction. Mhm. Mm very nice, very nice. You accept my sympathy. Okay. Hmm. So this October she meet she meet this guy. She's so private. We didn't even we didn't know when her last relationship ended and this one began. Okay. To the details. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is the room where, where she lived, right? Yes. And she has, she, has, she had her own room. Yes. Okay, well ladies and gentlemen, showing inside the room and then what you know. She had any pictures of him on the laptop and then? Well he's on Facebook. Can I see it? Okay, really fast? <laughs> Can I see some nice pictures of her? Yeah. All right. And this is her there. Okay, okay. So, well, ladies and gentlemen, we're just showing inside, and this is just you to understand that they started the relationship in October. This is the room of the girl who was strangled in, in, in March. Live and crime watch. Yeah? Hi, good evening. You're Jane live and crime watch. So, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, it's this just goes to show you that. That I mean, we don't know the circumstances. Come back to me. Just continue with the video, please. Continue with the video. Yeah, where the girl live um, with, with her father, her father, all the family, and everybody. They're really, really nice people. Really nice people. So, how are you? What happy to say? I'm sure you knew you. I mean, you knew the girl yeah. from small. No, I'm not. Her father her is my father, friend. Yeah. But it's very sad, huh? Very, very so he sad. So, came to you know, lend support. Yeah. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're just here. We have some guys outside here too. Hi. Good afternoon. What's going on? What's going on, man? I mean, how do you describe this boy? Boy, we fell up on a skeleton one and chill yeah, around yeah, to be yeah. going. Yeah, big man, what's going on in the back there? Yeah, day? I like in our vibes at all, Mr. Allen. Where's this seat? Kill your thing or? That I execute them men who kill them, man. What about this one? Go chill, yeah. what's going on with you? We are here in here, boy, big man thing. Yeah. Full on dread, right? Fell up, fell up. Yeah, full on dread. All right? All right, no seat. Yeah, man. All right? So, ladies and gentlemen, I'll show you well. You know, ladies and gentlemen, it's really sad. Just, you know, just looking at the pictures of, of, of the young 20-year-old. And that is what I tell you, you know, anything too sweet, just bring hands, you know. Anything too sweet. You understand? I mean, we, 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 we don't know the circumstances, but it's a wake-up call for women who are inviting men into their lives. You, you don't know what's going on. You don't know what's going on. In fact, ladies and gentlemen, I can... We're going to take a fast break. When I come back... In fact, before we go, it has some messages that, you know, I just wanted to show you. Go ahead. Right, these are the messages that they, they had. All right, I just want I just want to see you to talk. Or and that's all. He's you now he's telling her that he wants to see her. You 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 have my word. What time you leaving for work? 
All right, continue. I never told me, you, you never, I never told, I never told, you never told me nothing on it could work. Okay, go ahead. Right now, it can. Go ahead. It can't. I am sorry. Jeez. I have to go seven months and you are saying that? Oh, cool. So you realize, ladies and gentlemen, those exclusive shots of the, 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 the convo. Here is a convo. Before work, right? Well, we will talk later. Jez, I will be late. You don't understand. Can, um, okay, go get ready. Okay, go ahead. This is seven months and you still saying that I know. I, I'm sorry, Jez, I have to go. So ladies and gentlemen, now, now, now you realize, yeah, now you realize. In fact, I can show you a list of how many women, in fact, for, for, for the year, so many, how many persons have been murdered by their, by their husband or in domestic violence for 2018. Go ahead, let's start. Go ahead. Right. All right. It started on, t on Tuesday, January 22nd. 25-year-old Arisa Vanna David strangled at her home. Str Arisa David, she was strangled at her home. On the 2nd of February, 25-year-old Kyla Marie Kane from Tobago. This is a school teacher. Go again. On the 3rd, 26-year-old Margaret Guevara, a primary school teacher, shot dead. On the fourth, 53-year-old Lachmi Patsy Pasad of Ramsamuj, uh, Ramsamuj Avenue. Now, hold on, found inside. On, on the fifth, the bodies of the 13th of March, the bodies of 29-year-old Abigail Chapman, Olivia Chapman, and Michaela Mason. On the sixth, ladies and gentlemen, Wednesday, the 21st of March, Anita Mahadur, mother of four, was stabbed to death. This, this is all by my husband or, or uh, ex-boyfriend. On the 7th, now you have tu uh, Tuesday, the 3rd of April, 20-year-old Christine Chuni Singh, a.k.a. Kuchi. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's why I tell you now. It's really, really unfortunate. We're going to take a fast break. I just want to... Stick in something when we come back. Farbinger Expo is back at the White Tent opposite Medford Gas Station Shagornas from March 16 to April 2nd. All new containers with the latest variety of furniture, handicrafts, garments, footwear, jewelry and many more from around the world. We are the biggest in the Caribbean. Food corn that no one can resist. Lots of giveaways, ample parking and comfortable ambience. There's something for everyone. Check us out at Farbinger Expo at the White Tent opposite Medford Gas Station Shagornas from March 16 to April 2nd. Entry is absolutely... Special at the supermarket? Well, you don't have to worry. Check out Super Quality Supermarket, where there's always something special in your trolley. Three massive branches. Number 47, Tissue Drive, Trinity. Number 98, Endeavor Road, Chaguanas. And Coover Main Road, next to Republic Banks. Yes, my people, your health is your wealth. Now open Ripto and Barsmart Sports Station for all your sporting equipment. Cricket bats, batting pads, helmets, gloves, balls, trophies. Table Tennis Board, Ab King Pro, Home Gyms, all sporting exercise equipment. Yes, be active, be healthy. We have it at Rupnor and Biosmart Sports Station. Now open Omira Road Arima next to Extra Foods. Phone 646-7101. Bakery Treats is known for its great baked products and service with a smile. We offer a variety of breads, cakes, and pastries. We use no preservatives or added chemicals for maintaining a healthy lifestyle. So visit us today. Put Bakery Treats on top of your shopping list. 
Stuff and Drugs now open at Heartland Plaza in Shigwana's first world drugstore with best prices on drugs, vitamins, toiletries, stationery, grocery items, baby products and more. We also carry British Parliament Hilden and Water, Mara Beans imported directly from Italy, Bottle Nexium, Allegra, Zyrtec at half price, Gourmet Foods and Snacks, a selection of products not offered by any other pharmacy in Trinidad. So visit us today. Tower Farm Guest House, newest location at Shivan Drive Sandy Grandi. Enter unnoticed with that special summon. Secure parking and fully air-conditioned rooms. Open 24 hours for your convenience. Visit us today or call 299-3268. It's cutting after cutting this Easter. At Coast Cutter Supermarket locations, Cora Junction, El Dorado, and George Street, Sandy Grandi, get Red Rose Salmon, buy one, get one free for $18, Rich Port Tuna for $17.95, Rainbow Mackerel for $8.95, Happy Macaroni and Spaghetti for $4.25, three for $10, and many more specials. So hurry on down to Coast Cutter Supermarket now and save big this Easter. You know, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to, you know, before we go further with respect to the 20-year-old, Christine uh, Chuni Singh from the uh, Arima area, the Valencia, KP Lands Valencia. There's something I just want to highlight a little bit because this family just came to me and I didn't want to turn them back because of anybody thinking that I don't want to highlight this and I don't want to get involved. This, I know, I have been seeing, in fact, today I saw photos of you on Facebook uh, with respect to Inshan Ishmael. What exactly happened with you and him? Tell me really fast. Go ahead. Speak in the mic. Well, Enshan accused me of telling his daughter that um, she is from a corrupted family. Right. And I don't know his daughter. I don't, I don't have any dealings with Enshan Ishmael or his family. And I uh. never made any remarks like that. Do you, have, have, you ever, have you ever met this man? No. It was the first time you went to the place there to N eat food? No, I've, I've, I've been there before. So how that just came about that, that, that you knew where, he, where, where you're working and whatnot and thing? I don't know. So, so, so you all don't know what's going on? No. Are you, from, are, you, are you a Muslim? Yes. So what, so what has been saying about you on Facebook? Like what? That I am a female donkey. I'm a female donkey. I'm uh -huh. an illiterate fool. And um, he said that he will make a call to NP because I work there. NP, yeah. And um, that I... He, well, I used to live in the States. He put that. He also put I live in Freeport. He, he, ma he make out the whole scene of... He basically tarnished my reputation, and I just want to clear my name because I never Why said did, But did you call him and say, well, if I said anything, I apologize, but you never, but you should have never apologized because you never said anything. But just, uh, go ahead, ma'am. I just didn't want things to get nasty, so I, I called him this morning, and I said, I apologize for whatever misunderstanding there may be, oh. and he just wanted me to admit that I was wrong. So how we can admit us something that you, he didn't even hear? I never hear? said it, though. Well, ma'am, salam alaikum. How do you, how do you describe this? I think he is tarnishing my daughter name, which I don't well, like. Since I born, I'm a Muslim. Look at that camera. Let me tell you something. I don't get involved. Eh? I don't get involved. I'll get involved this time. I am a Christian. My father is a bishop. Now, they say it has been said that Islam is the fastest growing religion on the face of the earth. Eh? And you all are Muslims. You have been Muslims. You are Muslims since you are born. Mom, you're a Muslim. Let me tell you something, eh? My advice to the gentleman, have respect. Have respect for your own brothers and sisters. That is what I will tell you, you know. Have respect. I, Ian Allen, wouldn't destroy my own people like that. Of the same faith. I wouldn't do that. But when you... As a, a, I believe you're a practicing Muslim. You can't call your own sister in the faith a donkey. This, this, this sister is wearing a hijab. You need to have respect. They shouldn't come on my show to talk about this. You understand? It's not right. It could never be right. Because, but, I must, but I give them this platform just to tell you on national television, if you're a good Muslim, be a good Muslim. Let love conquer everything. I don't know the circumstances. But don't put your own people, your own brothers and sisters. If you are part of, of that fast-growing religion, have respect for your own brothers and sisters. Please, that's all I'm asking you. Have respect. I don't want to put my mouth, but have respect. Please take down the things about the young lady. That's your sister in Islam. 
This is your sister in Islam. I, I believe Islam teaches you to respect women. I think the, I, I, the first thing that I asked you, ma'am, didn't I not ask you, don't come to me. Did you, is it possible you can go up maybe have an imam get involved? Did I not ask you that? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, so I speak to your imam and find out. You understand? All I want, let there be peace among you all. But Ian, ah. he said that um, tonight um, I, will feel, you? I will feel the wrath of Insha and Ishmael tonight. Well, all right, well, ma'am, let, let me explain something to you. Lady, you are, God, you are a praying person. Leave it to God. Yes. If you know your daughter is innocent, leave it to God. There is a God. Mm -hmm. I believe there is a God. You believe there is a God. Maybe we might have different names that we call them by. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. But, I, but there is a God. Yeah. So leave it. Whatever they say, leave it. There is a God. God don't sleep. God might put on our pajamas. And there's a saying that we say on this show, one day for police and one day for thief. All right? <laughs> so you raise your head. You're a good girl and you're mom. God bless you. And inshallah, God is good. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you again. Let's take a fast break. to RMA Hardware today for all your building supplies from start to finish. We have decking sheets, under ceiling, new wave galvanized 26 gauge painted, I-beam, Z and C purlin, gypsum board, French style steel windows, red and concrete blocks, pickup at factory, T-cell cement, corrugated steel, garbage bins and much much more at competitive prices and fat inclusive. So check us out today. Gentlemen, I will tell you that that thing with you know with the television fella there, that is some you might say what about the girl or whatever, whatever I've been said, but at the end of the day, you know, the woman wearing a hijab and and not only Muslims, you must respect women. You must respect women, you must respect women, you must have a certain degree. And not because we might have a television show and we think and you know, maybe you might or whatever might be your possession. You might think that you're untouchable or whatnot, but you must remember that, that they are part of your faith. Mm -hmm. And if, I mean, if you, if you live by your book, I don't think your book say to, to, to put up any woman name as donkey on Facebook. You know, I, I do agree with that. I do agree with that at all, at all, at all. But again, I'm just not in the mood. I'm just not in the mood. I'm just not in the mood, but... I decided, they came here and they was just telling me, I said, listen, man, the only ad advice here, I don't want to have a, a tit for tat with nobody. I don't have time for that. That's trivial. That's like yesterday, waters gone and forgotten. You understand? The individual is, is, is of no significance to me. But nevertheless, which is, you know, I was just thinking that how someone of the same faith could really, you know, tarnish the, 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 the sister name like that. And that's it. That's all I have to say. You know, ladies and gentlemen, Today, a young man was shot by police at 27, uh, 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 um, Colin um, Rupchan. Colin Rupchan. It is alleged he had an altercation with his mother, but he's bipolar, yeah? 
he's bipolar. He had, a, he had a little incident with his mother, but the mother indicated to me that, in fact, he never mashed up the house, but suddenly he would go into depression. And, and I, don't think, I don't know how much reports they ever had with her and from, from the police and whatnot. But I decided to get involved because I, I thought that, you know what, everybody knew exactly what went on. Because they said that, that the, the, the individual is bipolar. Now, bipolar disorder, previously known as a, a, a manic depression, is a mental disorder that, caught, now, if you could have it on the screen there, it'd be really nice. Go ahead, just for you to read. All right, it's a mental disorder caused by periods of depression and periods of, well, ju just depression. Symptoms of bipolar disorder. Most people who have bipolar disorder talk about experiencing high and low. These swings can be severe, ranging from extreme energy to do the deep despair, the severity of the mood swings and the way that they disrupt normal life acti activities. Symptom decrease, uh, symptoms of, of, of the mania, the increase in physical and mental activity and energy, heightened mood, exaggerated optimism, self-confidence, excessive, um, your irritable, your aggressive behavior, decreased need for sleep without experiencing fatigue, racing speech, hmm. reckless behavior, symptoms of depression, prolonged sadness and whatnot. So bipolar, you know, being a, having that kind of symptom, ladies and gentlemen, it's very unfortunate. So that's what the mother said. That is what he suffered with. So he's not a madman, you understand? But what I couldn't understand is how the police shot him. Because I realized when I went to the, when I went to the house today, he was, in his in he, he was in his bedroom. He wasn't shot in the corridor. He wasn't shot in, he wasn't shot in, the, in, the, in the yard. He was shot in the bedroom. But how they got into the bedroom to shoot him, they broke down the door. Because, and he had nobody in the bedroom. He didn't have the mother. The mother was out on the road. The mother said that the doctor was coming. She even told them that the, the, that, that the young man, he has a, 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 bipolar, a bipolar disorder, and they should speak to him. You understand? So, ladies and gentlemen, this is what the mother had to say. I you to find out what exactly. Yeah. How did you get these marks on your skin, ma'am? Well, what happened? My son, uh -huh. he is, um, they call it bipolar. Bipolar. Right, right. right. So he took. So make it go into a zone. Yeah, uh, right. So he went to his own. So he went to zone. So he went to his own, and right. he he tried to to, to, to handle me. Yeah. But but so I just called to tell the neighbor next door here. I just say I just called the police. Is it the first time this has ever happened? Um. Or we had numerous reports about this. No, he, no. I, I wouldn't say the first time it happened, but it's right. not it's not to say how like is like ever, uh, police ever come out is not yeah. you know because he has sick injection every month from okay, doctor. Okay, so he's under Maraj. medical treatment. Right. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 He's okay. under medical treatment. So. Um, um, but old. the doctor didn't take. How old was he? He twenty six years. Where he worked? Well, no, he's a he's a, he's a he's a he has a degree in psychology. So uh -huh. he's worked with Mr. Carl Ryan, who is a um he a, has a degree in psychology. Yeah, so he's not a drug addict. Boy. No, he so studied in Tampa. In the a, they, they, could, they could say anything what they want. Tampa, Tampa uh -huh. in Saint Leo's in Tampa, uh -huh. and and, so and the okay. university graduate. Yeah, and plus uh -huh. he has he has he has nine O levels from Saint Benedict's. Eight, uh, five so A, five boy. A levels. Plus, you have a lot. He's a member oh, of the TTAP. Uh, he's a member of the American Psychological Association. Okay. You know, so it's not to say that um, you know. And then whenever he he anybody um, wants to do anything or uh, like like outside, you know, you see them and whatnot. You know, so yeah. Okay, but so, tell me something. When you, when your neighbor made the call, what exactly happened from? Right. There? Okay. The police came. They came no, across, no. Yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the police came. They came and where they passed? They passed right in front of you. So the... wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to ask you something. So Your the... life, you were not under hostage, no hostage. No, 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 no. I was, I, I run out. So the, you, the, 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 you were outside there. No, I came up came, came by this door. From the, from the, from the, this is my bedroom here. Uh, I came through here. Can you show me down. where this incident took place? So, so I, I just want to understand. I, I want to understand. When the police came in, what they did? The police. Well, I was already. Come, tell me, come. I already came out. Uh, man was by the neighbor, by the uh, same Rodney. Same right, Rodney by Rodney, Rodney the against right? boy. Uh -huh. Right, so, I to, so the, 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 the police passed on the road now. Uh -huh. I told them, because they came, they came very, very quickly. Uh -huh. And I said, um, I said, um, you know, do, I said, listen, that's my, that's my son. I already just called you because I was calling the doctor, Dr. Maraj, uh -huh. and he wasn't answering his phone in the initial. I called him and called him and called him to tell him to come. Look, listen, it's time to get his injection. And uh, how often he, he will receive medication? Once a month. Once a once, month. So no, he received for um, April, from yeah, February? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Did yeah, he yeah. receive for March? Um, 
No, that's what he was supposed to receive. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. So okay. that that I call so that I call him. He didn't. He didn't answer his phone. But eventually he answered, and I told uh. him. I said, "Listen, girl, doctor, could you come because because yeah, I, you up. know yes, I yeah, I according to you, you know. Yeah, you know. Uh -huh. Okay. So the police came through here. So the police come through. This door was open. Yeah. Right. I came out. I came out as I told you. Right. Okay. Right. So they came through here. Where they went to? Well, oh, it's a beautiful I house that you have here, but I thought it was a bacchanal house. I don't know. No, huh? I can put on lights and put on lights. No, because in the show reports you feel it's some bacchanal, some, 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 you know? I'm telling you, it's uh. I wasn't here to, 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 to see it. Yeah, right. Uh, uh, uh. So he went in his room uh -huh. from my bedroom to, to, to use my to washroom and uh -huh. in his room. Uh -huh. Now the the, 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 the kick down, if you notice the door. They kick down the door. Yeah. So then if they kick down the door, come outside, lady, come outside, come outside. If they kick down the door, which means to say their life was under no threat and attack. No. What, what, because there was damage here, this damage. The I mean, police. The police was under no attack. No. They was not no. Any, under any they attack. They, they, they entered the room and dealt with him. Yeah. They could have talked. Lady, me are picking up for nobody, you know, but I just wanted to get to the yeah, bottom of it because this last time in St. Madeline, the same thing happened in St. Madeline. In St. Madeline, and I can remember the, the fellow who's mentally challenged, he ran and he pelt a stone and they shot him um, you know, multiple times and nothing came out of that. Look at this. The, they could have waited on the doctor. Are they showing you? Uh, two, we have my neighbors. I have two doctor neighbors. This one here and that one there. So oh, hold on. So I told them that, yeah. that, that we have look, we have Watch out, now. watch. So the man the man the man is running. The man not running. He can't jump up because the house is burglar proof. Because I would have done come here already and watch. Look at that burglar proof here. That's showing here. Yeah? So I I already presume that we're going on the next window. Have burglar proof. So he can't jump out. Watch burglar proof. He there. He there. All right. He alone in there. He, so he, he so he so he didn't attack me because you know they could say he was they attack him. But if they if if he did attack them, how come they break down the door? Watch. How come? And where did they shoot him, Mama? Right. Okay. Well, well, I, uh, they only allowed us back inside of here uh, after, well, after nine or so. Uh, That's from since after five. Right here, I, I didn't, so I didn't see my son uh, go, um, going to, well, look, yeah, the bag and what not. bag and whatnot. Because I asked over and over, could I go and see my son? They said, no, this is a crime area. I said, okay, I respect, Wee, I respect the police. I uh, go yeah, ahead, go ahead, eventually. come, come. Uh -huh. Here, okay. is that the boy was in here? Yeah. And the boy and was not shot outside? Hold on. Me? Hold on, lady. The boy wasn't shot outside. He wasn't shot so. He wasn't shot so. He wasn't shot. He was shot inside of his bedroom. How did they get in the bedroom? Bam. They broke it down, as you can see all here, Ben. I just wanted to know because remember, they wouldn't want nobody to see this now. Look at the break up the boy lock or kind of thing. But just showing you, your life was really under threat. Commissioner Police, all they really need to get, into, get involved. I'm not going to stop his madness. This is, this is, this is, this is the piece of wood. This is the piece uh -huh. of wood. I, I Go ahead. I put it, on, I put it away. Uh -huh. came from here. Oh, this is the piece out. over here. Mom, we're going to pay special attention to this, right? Okay? We're going to pay special attention to this. All right? Well, ladies and gentlemen, what was his full name? Miss? Colin, Colin, Colin Christopher. Um, Colin Christopher. Walter Michael. Walter. Walter Michael Rupchan. Yes. Colin Christopher Walter Michael Rupchan. Rupchan. How old was he? Twenty-six years. Twenty-six years. Yes. Old. And what is your full name, ma'am? My name is Pamela Stewart Rupchan. We have a name like the first lady, Pamela Stewart, a big time name, huh? Yeah. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I just want you to understand what went on. My cameraman will take a shot outside of the building from the road, just to un just for you to understand the environment. Thank you. Thank you. That is a real serious business. And look, I have a photo of, 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 of these people moving the body. You understand? But I'll tell you something, you know. I'll tell us something here. It warrants an investigation. And what is, you know, if I could recall, in, I think it was last year, boy. Yeah, I think last year. Yeah, Darren Paul, Daniel Paul, a young fella. Just go to that video. Let me take, let me take it to our case last year. Go ahead. Last year. Last year, this was Daniel Paul, this a mentally challenged boy. Let's get the photos and whatnot. Right, he ran in here, watch. Two police officers came, right? You remember us? Watch, watch. Two police, now he, 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 he went in with nothing in his hand. He threw a stone, and this was a mentally challenged boy. If we could get pictures of him. All right, hold on. 
Go ahead, I'll show you something. Yeah, watch this. And nothing, the commissioner, them cover it up, you know. PSB and them cover up this, you know. Watch the police, yeah, watch. Watch. He from a distance. What you all should do for me is to repost all those videos and get it up to recent times. Watch, 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 watch. They shot him, watch. Watch, he just pelt a stone from a distance, watch. Shot dead. I have a photo of him. And it was in the, it, it was in the video, if you could go back to the video. Because we, if you can get a shot of the night, that, that night when we did the interview, you, you all got that? Go ahead. Open up the lines to me. Hi, good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Hi, good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right, I'll talk to you all after. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, and also in Diego Martin, it had Paul Marchand. You remember that? Rich playing Diego Martin. Remember that video where the police was beating him with a piece of wood? Remember that? Watch that. Watch the WPC with the hammer. You remember that? Audio, is that audio on it? Order. Watch me. Those are three cases. Those are two cases. In St. Madeline and, and Rich Plain. And now in La Romaine. Those are three cases that need to be investigated by the police. Yeah? And seriously. I ain't picking up for nobody, you know. But at the end of the day, the boy was inside the room. Eh? He was locked up in his room. They broke down the door. They broke down the door and shot him. Because the body was found inside the room. So what are you going to cover up? When people see those things, and you know it have PSB, it have this one, it have that one, and nobody's saying anything. Nobody wants to say anything, but at the end of the day, it should be investigated properly. Properly, 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 because look at the boy, in the fellow in St. Madeline. Look how long, and it's all kind of cover up with that, thing. You know, all kind of cover up. All kind of cover up. And Stephen Williams, I will call you personally, and I, I Ian Allen, will ask you, what really going on? I want to ask you. I will call you live and ask you. What about those three cases? And let me tell you something. What we're going to start to do is to pick up cold cases. Huh? I am going to pick up cold cases. Believe me. Open up your lines. Hi, good evening. Oh, a woman's a woman purse was found in Price Mart. Tell Capasad. Outside Price Mart. Tell Capasad. Passad. P R S A R D. Passad. All right. I have a photo of her. Go ahead. We have an idea of her. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't know what I'm running here, boy. Oh, my God. That's, that's her driver's permit. Her. Now, we found her wallet with all her IDs and everything in it. Could you let her know that she can come at the studio to collect the items? Hi, good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Go ahead. Good evening, Mr. Ian Allen. Uh -huh. It's only on train people that give in the work to do. They, got they, they, they have the work and they're not, they, they don't know about it. They don't know what to do. They can't spell. They can't spell. They can't. What are you talking about? Also, also today, I went down to where the, where, where the house destroyed by fire and we give out some hampers and whatnot. I'm paying special attention. I'm going for Randall Mitchell. Let me tell you something. I just want you to know I went down there. I'm going to show you the part where we're giving all this stuff. If we could get that, that part for me really, really fast. Because it's total madness, yeah? Total, total. And imagine Randall Mitchell is the minister of housing. Yeah? Let's go straight to it. They're not a use thing enough. You understand? They're not a use thing enough. So you have to take this, right? I'll bring some shoes. I'll make some hampers for all you. Right now, I can't provide accommodation right now, but I'm going to work on it. So let's take this fast. Come on. Take That's some stove one. and too. It has stove. I bring stove and for all you. Come. All right, so researcher, you can come from here. Yeah, all right. Come on, help So, ladies and gentlemen, I brought, I brought this to the people. Let me see what I can do. I brought some shoes. Let's see what size of shoes you can wear. Yes. All right, I can bring our new shoes. Um, this 12, I know where this is. This 12, 5 or something. Where is this? No, no, the next lady. Well, the next.
Also, tomorrow we're going to deal with Randall Mitchell. Yeah? Tomorrow we're going to deal with him. But I just want you to know where he has a very, very family who lost their homes, where they live. In a toilet and a bathroom. Look at it. Look at this little baby here. Yeah? They live in, 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 in they, 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 they are staying in, 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 in a washroom. You understand? A toilet area. This is the affected place across here. Look at it. Unbelievable. Un unbelievable. So what did, what did the minister brought to you? But why don't you run him? <laughs> huh? This is what we want to do. Yeah, you should run him. Exactly. You should run him so, because when vote come, because if they could give the people the same thing they do, they have the people in Barcelona staying in a, in a community centre since the Wally night. Since the Wally night, you have these people lost homes. Look at this baby in this hot sun. I'm in the hot sun, and after one minute, I'm sweating. Look at this, this, this baby here. Just imagine that like, nobody ready to care in this country, boy. Ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow I'll continue with the video. I'm going to take it to the next level. Randall Mitchell, if you know what is good, you better go down there and help them people, yeah? You see you and your hungry, more people and them up in town, your, 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 your cabinet people and them. If all of the sort of them people, I will deal with, I will deal different all with all. I, I'll get on real bad, like real bad. You're going with, 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 with a, a scrunting little thing. But a market bag, no shame. You're only looking for vote. Ladies and gentlemen, we're out of time. We run off the program tonight at 10 o'clock, 1.30 tomorrow. Make sure and get your ad on crime watch. What's up me on 2904426. Tomorrow, you'll see the video. And all those of you who have downloaded the app, you can go back and look at the program. Good night. There's a jungle out. There's a, there's a, there's a jungle out. There's a, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come, we ain't playing. It's the last thing on our mind. Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying. Be safe when you're home, be safe in the streets. It's a cold place and I'm really feeling the heat. I never wear gold, cause someone's always peeping by.